So um, for our next topic, guys, we're going to give you five tips for handling your first holiday together as a couple. Now, this is from an article that I read from at Self Magazine by a writer by the name of Jenna Birch. We want to give everybody their credit. Um, holidays are coming up. If you're in a new relationship or even if you're in an old one, there are certain things you got to know and certain ways you have to navigate meeting and interacting with your partner's family. Fact. Guess what? Shit can go left real fast. Boy. Extremely quickly. Uh, so the first, step one, clarify the relationship up front. Are you really his girlfriend? Are you really her boyfriend? <laughs> is that, like, are you both aware of what your relationship is? Or are you just here for a good meal? Or a good time. Or, or not a long time. Not a long time. What's up, my man Drake? <laughs> Certified lover boy. Coming soon, right? I know you can't wait. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's really important to clarify the relationship. Nobody wants to, you know, drag a, like a guy that doesn't take them seriously to meet their mom and dad and grandma. Correct. Indeed. Clar- I'm with that. Clarify where you guys are at. Where do we stand? What are we, what are we doing? What, what are we? What are we? But Ooh. don't press it. Don't press each other about the, what are we? Like, cause then they say, you know? Yeah. But pre- I mean, is it really, it's not pressing to ask somebody what we are. Have you ever asked? What are we? No, 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 no. It's not wrong to ask that question, but don't press it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so what are we? Did you not hear my? Did you have you ever asked a woman what are we? Trevor, you know exactly who I'm talking to. <laughs> I've never asked. <laughs> I've never. What are we? No. <laughs> what are we, fam? I, bro, why'd you even get me started? I'm just asking if you've ever asked a woman what are we. Nah, but yo, what are we doing here? That's a what are we? No, it's not a what are we. <laughs> it's, it's not. So what's the difference? What's a what are we doing here? What's that? <laughs> Like, what are we doing? Location? <laughs> like, why are we at this Popeyes and not the one in Hempstead? Is that what, that's what we're doing is? No. What are we doing? Like, wh- what are we and what are we doing? Is t- it has to be two different things. Like, I'm not looking. I don't see how they're different. I'm not asking. What are we? Is like, what is our label? Okay. What are we doing? Just tell me what we're doing. Yo, we're kicking it. It's different for me. Same response to what are we? We're kicking it. Ah. It's the way the questions are presented. Maybe one and because the way to me this is weird. The way the question presented one is like you have, you know, what are we doing? But what are like what are we? It's two different questions. Never mind. Next next topic. <laughs> so the next step in making sure your first holiday as a couple goes well, no surprises. Do not just pop up at the family shindig with something Fact. new and you have not prepped the crowd you have not prepped the population don't do that it is a formula for disaster you will get crazy looks he or she will get crazy looks make sure everyone's in on the plan no surprises everyone has that one cousin who surprises everyone every holiday though absolutely big fact i I just don't get what like what is this about like you couldn't just why why are you surprising us every time that just hurts the person you bring too, because they expect some. They might expect you to be solo. They might expect you. They might expect a whole different person. Right. And, They're not even prepped. Like, oh wow. Okay. Where's Samantha? Right. Don't do that to yourself, because they're gonna ask you where so and so. You know, someone's gonna ask you where so and so is. Absolutely. Indeed. And I think this this coincides with our next step: set boundaries. Um, if you are not in the place to discuss marriage, children, or living together. Ask your family not to bring it up. So if you bring, you know, your girl or your guy to Thanksgiving dinner and the first question out of your grandma's mouth is, when are you guys getting married? And the only time that you guys have spent together has been on FaceTime and in hookah bars. That is not the discussion you want to have. You know that telling your grandma that means nothing to her. You know that because she will still ask. No, no, not mine. Well, not yours, but most grandmas will be like, ah, yeah, I got you. So, <laughs> so somebody's going to get that off. I mean, that's, I mean, that's why it's like set boundaries, right? Because like you love your family, but you also don't want them creating like a tough situation for no, you. Absolutely. That's like, it's very important. Like, I feel like if, if you tell them, they'll hold you down. Absolutely. And then you also don't want your, the person that you're bringing your company to feel 
overwhelmed or uh, out of place or nervous or disrespected. So um, all that stuff is really important. Indeed. Fact. All right. Uh, next, step four, explain the, fam- the family, explain the family dynamics to your partner. Explain that you might have an auntie that's a little bit crazy, that drinks a little bit too much during the holidays, throws back a little bit too much brown liquor and might get drunk and say some shit. Like, make sure you're setting your partner up for success and not to be, I guess, like, you know, feel embarrassed around weird people because everybody's got weird people in their family. Or you got to have the 30 seconds in the car where you're like, yo, okay, this is what we're about to walk into. Or however long it will take to explain, but you got to prep before walking in. I feel you got to prep like the whole week, honestly. It's just a, it's just a week of preparation. Yeah, absolutely. We're, you should start now, actually. If you're, if you're having holidays for the first time with your significant other, you guys should start now. Right now. Actually, you should start a week ago. Start actually, week. yo, next week's Thanksgiving. Next week is, no, next, uh, is next week's Thanksgiving? Next week's Thanksgiving, dog. Definitely Thanksgiving. Wow. That wow. Was, that was quick. Wow. I'm sick. Indeed. <laughs> I thought I had more time. Huh? What are your Thanksgiving plans? Um, we, well, depending on COVID, Kim's mom should be flying up. Um, and then we'll be going to her uncle's house down here in, for- in Florida. Oh, so you're staying down there? Yes, sir. Okay. That's, uh, that's different for you. But we will be home for Christmas. Okay. You, okay. So you see it? Flipping it, mixing it. Right, look at y'all navigating life. So proud. Listen, man. So proud. It's up to me. I'll be in the bed. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nah, that's what we're doing. Awesome. That's a great move. Um, the last one, and one I think is probably the most important, press pause on all arguments. Uh, we all have full-blown arguments from time to time, but you know what isn't cute? Fighting in front of loved ones. That is not yeah, man. to have like that awkward silence or, you know, you basically with your eyes across the room, you're looking at your shorty and being like, fuck you. And she's looking back and she's being like, fuck you too. Everybody can hear Every- that. Yo. Everybody can hear that. <laughs> Every single person. Everyone can hear it. <laughs> There's not one person that can't hear you at being visibly upset with your partner as you sit and listen to like the little kids play and open gifts and eat dinner and cut. And you t- sitting there like this. Exactly. Like I'm just here so I won't get fined. Peep the hands though. Peep the hands. Oh, when it's when it's an arm when it's an arms cross. Oh my god. It's on the phone the entire time. Like, Oh, that's no, that's sick. Sick. Nothing boils my blood more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you on that. So those are the, those are five tips uh, to getting <laughs> for your first holiday with your significant partner. Those were solid, man. I think the key that I pulled from that was preparation. 